Arizona has among the most permissive gun laws in the nation. The right to keep and bear arms here extends to weapons in cars, restaurants, and even bars. Finding a list of gun-friendly establishments is as easy as clicking the mouse on your computer. Here, you can literally go on a shopping spree armed from store to store. The argument being that carrying weapons enhances security. And now there are proposals pending in the state legislature here that would allow college faculty and even college students, like those here at the University of Arizona, to carry concealed weapons on campus. And there's a lot of drinking going on on campus and it just wouldn't be safe. Would you welcome students and faculty carrying concealed weapons on campus? Good God, no. Tom Volge is the former mayor of Tucson who worries about access to weapons like a Glock semi-automatic used in Saturday's rampage. I think in the state of Arizona, it is easier to purchase a weapon like that than this to get a driver's license. In Arizona, firearms and politics go together. This was a Tea Party candidate for Congress. Meet Pamela Gorman, conservative Christian and a pretty fair shot. And Gabriel Giffords' Republican opponent, urging voters to remove her from office, invited them to come and shoot a fully automatic M16 with him. This all plays out amid some of the day's most explosive issues, Arizona's toughest in the nation laws to impede illegal immigration, or the emotional debate over health care. And while it's not yet known for sure what motivated Jared Lee Loeffner, what is known is that he had no trouble getting a gun and using it. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Tucson.